is Attorney General Justin Muturi warns owners of independent power producers, that is IPPs, that entered into an alleged illegal arrangement with the government of a power supply and distribution prosecuted for failing to disclose their real identities to the registrar of companies as required by the law. The AG, while shedding more light into the agreements between government and the IPPs, revealed that the office of the Attorney General was tactically sidelined during the crafting and signing of the power power Purchase agreements between the IPPs and the government, said Olale, followed the heated proceedings at Parliament. The uncertainty surrounding the power purchase agreement deal between independent power producers and the government over power supply and distribution of electricity in the country continues to be shrouded in mystery. Attorney General Justin Muturi shocked legislators by stating that his office is not privy to the multi-billion shilling purchase agreement deal between independent power producers and the government. Did you ever get to an earth, uh, fully an earth ownership of some of those companies that we are talking about that, that particular time? And they so always been involved. I'm sure we will not be where we are. The energy parliamentary watchdog was seeking to know the identity of the beneficiary owners of the IPPs from the office of the Attorney General that charged the government higher electricity tariffs compared to state-owned power plants. Some of the IPPs have been willing to, to re look at um, their rates and I think as a committee we need to move with speed to see how much we can be able to get from them. Those found to have, uh, you know, bound government in unconscionable contracts, be meant to, to take responsibility. The AG ordering the commencement of investigation and prosecution of beneficiary IPP owners, if at all they failed to disclose their real identities with the registrar of companies during the crafting and signing of the PPAs. They will still be found guilty because they will not have provided the names of the beneficial owners. That is what the current law requires. The Interministerial Committee, headed by Energy Cabinet Secretary Davis Chichir, that is supposed to look into their agreements taken to task for allegedly dragging the process. Even as parliamentary investigation into the high cost of electricity generation, supply and consumption continues gaining momentum, the Attorney General says that billions of taxpayers' money could have been saved only if the office of the Attorney General would have been involved in offering legal advisory in such arrangements, said Olale, Citizen T.